Hello and welcome back and we're here at the OWC stand here at Computex 2024 in Taipei. Now last year OWC was talking a lot about their Jellyfish NAS platform. We didn't really talk about it because it seemed a little bit more formative. We know them for a lot of other solutions. A lot of you Mac users are quite big on this. But I will say right now that this extensive range, particularly for post-production, particularly for content creation, it's going to stand out, stand out for you. So. Early on, we've got the Jupiter Mini here. Now, the Jupiter Mini is uh, it's powered with uh, TrueNAS on board, and that's kind of like their entry-level HDD system there. Standard rate configurations there, ZFS and more. But the really interesting things are these two. Now, I'm going to leave the best till last. This one here is known as the Jellyfish Studio. Now, this is populated with your own choice of configuration of SATA SSDs. They've got a whole online portal where you can configure the whole device from the ground up. It is designed to be very fast deployment. They've even got their own GUI, the whole user experience software built there on the top for you to access. So again, OWC are kind of expanding into this NAS uh, range, and I would argue there is never, an, there is never too little room for people to enter this industry, particularly, once again, for Mac users that want to go for a brand that they have utilized from card readers to docking stations and more. Now, moving forward, we can talk about the Nomad. Now, this is the one I think that's going to stand out for a lot of you kind of serious flash users, those of you that are dealing with your 6K, your AK, your RAW, your high dense media storage, but not just one editor, we are talking lots of editors all working from a single portable station. Now if we remove that little sign, you can see a fun little handle. Why has it got a handle? I'm glad you asked. It's not a tote bag, it is populated with two of these. Inside here we have two insertable modules and each one of these modules contains four M.2 NVMEs. Those 4.2 uh, M.2 NVMEs are in a JBOL configuration and then you slot them in here, there's a locking mechanic here which allows you to install up to 8 M.2 NVMEs inside there. The system has got software managed RAID internally and also utilizing uh, the CO, I believe, uh, special file system internally to make sure that redundancy is taken care of too. But here on the rear of the system, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, 10 gig NIC, NIC connections there on the rear. That means you're gonna be able to connect this to six individual uh, 10 GB equipped Windows and Mac systems. Indeed, the system in the middle will take care of that cross file sharing as well. Again, so if you're deploying a mixed OS environment and you are deploying on the go, whether it is you're in Dubai taking shots there of the wonderful landscape or you're knocking around at a sports event and you need to do hardcore backups and editing on the fly, there is a huge amount of internal and more importantly, external performance at your disposal. As mentioned, leveraging the performance afforded to you by M.2 NVMEs isn't quite enough. And luckily, internally, we're able to see that the entire operation is managed. We've got everything from cross-file sharing, SMB uh, connections there, multi-channel supported. On top of that, you've got the likes of cloud synchronization, off-site, uh, real-time remote replication and stuff like that. All of that managed within this GUI. There's a huge amount of features and functionality. We will be doing a follow-up video on this regarding OWC and the Jellyfish system because I would really like to sync my team into this software to find out just what it can do because the whole premise of this solution seems to be keep it simple and I think there's a lot of users looking at the NAS industry right now that want things to just be simplified they're not looking for a Plex media server they're not looking to run dockers and virtual machine applications they are looking for storage solutions that give performance store well and do what they are told and as a setup and forget solution that is also portable there is a surprisingly small number of solutions that meet this criteria, and I do think this is something to keep an eye on. But there is a link in the description to a full article on this solution. Check it out below. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.